Um, hello, so today we are going to take a to do something a little bit different um, and do a book review. Um, and I'm going to start with this book that I re read recently called Algorithms by Jeff Erickson. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty interesting book. It's actually a new book. Um, if you take a look here, you can see that it's very recent. Um, so December 13, 2018, that's the pre-publication draft and then the first paperback edition was just June last year, uh, 2019. Um, yeah, so let's dive in. Um, okay, so the book is, uh, is written by Jeff Erickson, who is a professor in the University of Illinois um, at Urbana-Champaign. And the book has a free version online, a PDF version that you can download. Um, I will put a link of the um, a link of it uh, in the description below. Um, but it also has this paper version that you can buy on Amazon. Um, okay, so in terms of the like the topics that are covered in the book, um, it covers most of the usual topics that are covered in a, in an algorithm books. Um, so you have an introductory chapter, recursion, backtracking, dynamic programming, greedy algorithm, and then graphs algorithms and those kind of um, those kind of topics. Um, one noticeable thing is that it doesn't have a specific chapter like for runtime analysis or for specifically for sorting. Um, but I think that's fine since here, for example, in recursion chapter, we have a, chap um, a section on merge sort, a section on quick sorts, um, and that usually gives you an idea of how sorting algorithms um, work. Um, for the recursion chap, the, the three chapters, recursion, backtracking, and dynamic programming, I think that gives like a, a pretty good flow um, of the book um, since those are somewhat related. Um, for recursion chapter, I specifically enjoyed the Tower of Hanoi um, section, which explains the problem in a in a very good way and um, and also like um, explains very well how to apply recursion um, in a nice way. Um, uh, backtracking also is chapter is very good. Um, the N Queens problem, which is the first section of the book of the chapter, um, is also uh, explained very 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 well um, and is a is a is a nice problem there. Um, dynamic programming also um, we we have in the chapter for dynamic programming you have the usual problems that are explained um, for dynamic programming. So it starts off simple with just Fibonacci and then from there, um, from there, um, the book explains um, like longest increase in subsequence, and then edit distance, subset sum, which the, these three are usually um, the first three problems that um, that are like um, introduced so to, to understand dynamic programming, uh, and then the two last one, optimal binary search tree and dynamic programming on trees. I think those are less relevant if you are. Uh, like studying algorithms for programming interviews, but if not, um, if you are like just interested in algorithms in general or um, want to learn them for comparative programming, then the, those two sections are very good as well. Um, the sh there is another chapter after that on greedy algorithms, um, uh, specifically the half moon codes section. This one comes often in coding interviews and is very good to learn. Um, scheduling as well is a good problem to, to understand and to understand how to solve. Um, and then from there we dive into the graph algorithm. And that section starts with this general, uh, what it, the general format of a graph uh, uh, traversal that the book calls whatever first search. Um, and then from there, it dives deeper into the variants of that, which are DFS and BFS. Um, I found this way of introducing graph traversal very very easy to understand um, instead of just directly diving into uh, depth first or breadth first search um, this general template of using whatever first search and then from there specializing to either dfs or, or, or bfs um, that was that was very good um, i think this first shows uh, sorry dfs and uh, explains how to use it to do detections of cycle uh, of cycles on a graph and then topological sort and then a strong, detecting strong connectivity. Um, so those are the usual problems that come up in graphs and uh, where DFS can be used to solve them. And then from there, MST. Um, again, MST is also 
sometimes less likely to occur in coding interviews, but it's, it's really good to know. The book covers the two main algorithms um, that can solve MST problems, which are Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm. And then from there, uh, we dive into shortest paths algorithm, starting off with BFS, and then uh, the book explains in detail Dijkstra's algorithm as well, and then after that, Belmont Ford. And then once we get to this chapter, I think the rest of the book is less relevant, again, for coding interviews, but it is very good to learn, which, is, which are the chapters on all pairs, shortest paths, and maximum flow and minimum cut as well. Um, I think those are somewhat um, advanced topics, so you can skip them if, if you want. Um, and then after that, um, the book treats NP hardness. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I, I honestly, I didn't read this sec this chapter, this last chapter, because I'm a little bit less interested in that. But all the other chapters um, are very good, and with each chapters, you have as well the exercises that go along with it. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that um, the book doesn't provide any solutions to the exercises, um, and so you would have to just um, try to solve them yourself and uh, and 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 struggle a little bit with that. Okay, so another thing to note is um, the book has a lot of uh, drawings and illustrations of concepts which are very useful, I think, um, like in this chapter here, in this page here. Um, um, yeah, so um, except uh, one thing to note is in the paper version, the, the, these illustrations are not colored, but they are in the PDF version online, the free PDF version. So if, if that's something that matters to you, you can use the PDF uh, version. Um, yeah, but I find that reading the paper version is a lot easier. Um, um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that um, the same professor who's written this has also um, lectures um, on YouTube where he is teaching the same, a similar material to what's in the book. So what I strongly recommend is before reading each chapter, um, watch the, the lecture that is similar to it, and then from there read the chapter, um, and, and that will help you kind of understand. Um, I will put a link to the playlist of the lectures that are similar to the book, um, so yeah, I hope that will be useful. Okay, so now let's get into like the pros and cons of the, of the book here. So um, for the pros, I think the this book focuses a lot more on explaining the intuition behind algorithms and behind um, complexity analysis than other books like uh, CLRS, um, the Introduction to Algorithms book, which is more math based. This one is a lot less math heavy uh, and more focuses more into the intuition, which I I really like it. Um, it also has very clear explanations um, compared to other books that I've read. Um, um, it's it's written also in a very uh, accessible and clear way um, that I've found um, very easy to understand. Uh, it includes as well a few jokes every now and then in the book, which makes it a lot more fun to read. Um, and then, but in terms of like cons of the book, I think um, one main cons that I found is uh, not having solutions to the exercise is kind of um, not ideal because um, when you finish an exercise, um, you don't know if your solution was right or not. Um, and then also, like, it kind of discourages you a little bit from uh, completing the solutions to all problems. Um, at least it did for me. Um, not for all problems, but at least for a portion of the problems, because usually we don't. It's pretty hard to finish all the exercises for for an algorithms book. Um, yeah, so th that's I think the main cons that I find here. Um, and one big pro for me was that there is a, a playlist lecture um, of the that has a similar content, and like reading the book and watching the lectures at the same time really really help us understand um, the material better. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the pros and cons. Okay, so one other thing is, um, like, uh, how, how does this book compare to other, uh, like, famous algorithms books that we are used to, like, Algorithms, Introduction to Algorithms by CLRS, the famous book, and then Algorithm Design Manual, which, uh, by Steve Skinner, which is also very, uh, very widely used. Uh, I would say that it's definitely a lot easier to read than Introduction to Algorithms. This is a very 
math heavy book and so this one is the if, if you find this one difficult then definitely uh, grab this one it, it would be a lot easier to understand um in terms of if we compare it with algorithm design book i definitely enjoyed reading this one more um this is this is an excellent book but i found the this is more, I found algorithms by Jeff Erickson a lot more accessible again. Um, it's slightly more accessible. So yeah, you can, you can try both and see which one, which one fits for you. But um, in terms of like who, who can read this book or who should read this book, um, I think it's a pre-introductory book or at least like medium. Um, I wouldn't suggest it, recommend it to someone who is really starting off, like the first time reading about algorithms. Uh, for that, I may maybe suggest something really new, like really like introductory, like this one, Algorithm Unlocked. Um, but if you like came across algorithms and solved a couple of problems um, and already maybe did lectures there in university, uh, um, and so you are somewhat familiar but want to sort of solidify your knowledge more, um, uh, and then definitely this is this is a worth read. Um, so in conclusion, highly recommended. Um, if you couple it with watching the YouTube lectures, then it will be very, very, very useful. Um, yeah, so that's it pretty much. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.